Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension and today I got some, actually I got it last night, but it was too late for me to do some filming. So I got my Witch's Roots. So I figured I would do an unboxing for you. And this is how it comes. They're very, very discreet. Comes in a plastic uh, envelope. And there you are. So let's just get right into it. So this is what it looks like. So this month's theme is the sacred goddess. Says this symbolism, or I'm sorry, the symbolism of the goddess resonates deep within our practices and rituals. You know what? I'm sorry. I need to get my glasses. Carrying with it very rooted meanings and resemblances. As we work with the goddess energy, we connect to all things around us on a deeper level allowing us to truly use our emotions and love for all things to manipu manipulate positive growth in every aspect of our existence. These sacred energies are created to assist us in becoming wiser and more in tune when working to make better decisions in our day-to-day -day lives, ultimately elevating us to, higher, to a higher plane of being. We have created and sourced the items within this collection to bring you closer to the sacred goddess energy so that you too may walk a more vibrant and beautiful path. The magical items in this box are as follows. So I'm going to set that aside for a second and we're just going to dig right in. Oh my goodness, look at that. Passion flower. So... Yeah, that's just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I think I'm going to turn it around this way, actually. You know what? I'm just going to flip my camera. Water element, celestial. Influences are the Moon, Venus, and Neptune. Uh, the different colors that you can find in Passion Flower are white, blue, pink, purple, red, silver, violet, and yellow. The stones that are associated with it are angelite, calcite, celestite, howlite, jade, and lepidolite, or lepidolite, however you want to pronounce it. Um, complementary botanicals are lavender, olive, sassafras, and violet and the animals are agouti butterfly capybara dolphin elephant hummingbird isis or abyss ocelot sparrow starling beautiful magical properties are a highly symbolic plant for spanish miss missionaries in the new world passion flower was Named to honor the suffering and crucifixion of the Christian Christ. Many topical, tropical cultures worldwide utilize all parts of the plant as a magical charm to attract friendships and love. It's also used to promote restful sleep, peace, harmony, tranquility, and overall contentment with the self within relationships, old or new, and within designated spaces. And then there's more stuff here. Magical beings... So people that are associated with these, for instance, the Virgin Mary, uh, Nefanua, Luna, Lacalono, um, Asclepius, Shakaska, Chiron, Christ, Ichel, Ixel. I'm sure I'm butchering some of these names and I apologize. Um, 
the native origins are Asia, Australia, Polynesia, and American tropics. And there are several different names for it as well, but yeah. Now, if this is the first time that you're watching my channel, what I plan to do is take a whole bunch of these things of artwork that I get, the herbal artwork from the witch's roots, and create just the most awesome herbal grimoire with it. So I am waiting to get a whole slew of them so that I can get it started because I, I wanted them to be like in a uh, alphabetical order. So, but I'm just not very artistic when it comes to painting and drawing and even writing this well. I'm just not that good. So th this is like the number one reason why I love this box so much. So anyways, let me move on from that. Let's see what else we got. So excited. All right, let's see here. May the Lady of the Moon guide your way. Ooh. Let's see what it says. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that not the most gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. All right. I love that so much. What do we got here? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's a shell. We got another bigger one. Mm, oh my gosh, look at that. That is glorious. This will be so perfect in there, right? Look at that. I love it. You guys are so amazing. Oh my goodness. What do we got here? Sacred Goddess Ritual Body Oil. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that. This is huge. Oh, what are, what is that? Is that in there? Looks like maybe jasmine or chamomile or something. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah. Oh my goodness, yes. All right, what do we got here? Gorgeous little bag. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. It's definitely very purpley. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. I love it. What else do we have here? Oh, this is the... Uh... Wow, that's even really cool if they do that, if I can find the opening here we go it's the dropper that um that comes with your oil so you can change it out let me get this stuff out of the way oops which i mean i even reuse this stuff for like shipping stuff out absolutely Repurpose everything. Okay, it's not going to let me. So where's my scissors? All right. Look at... Beautiful. Beeswax. 
gosh, I love the smell of beeswax. And I know I say that every time, but I just do. I mean, in its natural form, it is just, it smells so good. Passion flower. We'll see if it has a smell. I'm not sure with it being all dried and looks like the leaves. Mm, still smells good though. I like that. That's a good dose of it as well. So they give you more than enough to use in, in a working. <laughs> in several workings probably. And then some incense. Oh, yeah, that smells so good. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Let's read through everything, shall we? I love that. That's beautiful. I think that's Lepidolite. I think so. All right. So let's see what it says. Passion flower, a very soothing and sedative like herb. The passion flower has many serene benefits that we have worked with over many years. Used in many herbal teas, this wondrous herb is known for relaxing anxious thoughts and bringing emotions to a more grounded state. Originally classified um, as Passiflora in 1745, passion flower now has an estimated 500 different species that are spread around the world. Um, upon the passion flower plant hangs berry-like fruits that were said to be cultivated by the Aztecs, Incas, and other South American native tribes. As stated within the Passion Flower Herbal Grimoire artwork, and I'm not going to read that again. I already read it in the beginning. Um, it is a wonderful herb for attracting others. Passion Flower provides a softer addition to your aura, allowing you to be free from anger, anxiety, or other emotional stresses that, that may push others away. As you use this herb, visualize every thought, touch, and emotion becoming softer as it as if effort is no longer needed. Also associated with Venus, passion flower brings the power of the sacred feminine into our surroundings and working spaces. Its gender correspondence is feminine, elemental connection is water, and planetary connection is Venus. So then we have, which here's the passion flower. Then we have the sacred goddess ritual body oil with the dropper says we have created this two ounce magical elixir with the intention of bringing you closer to the divine feminine energy that is rooted all around us, as well as bringing soft, gentle, and vibrant en energy to your aura. This sacred goddess body oil is a powerful formula to add strength and conviction to your perception as you set out upon difficult tasks and experiences. As you use this oil, visualize a blanket of protection covering your energy, providing you with the chance to be fearless in your endeavors. We have enchanted this ritual body oil with jasmine, patchouli, and sandalwood oils, as well as jasmine and passion flower herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our The Lightest Touch Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the makings of this ritual body oil. Says use only a couple of drops first to see if you are comfortable with this the essence of this mixture, and for external use only. Okay, so the next thing is the royalty mini spell candle, which is right here. We have hand rolled this spell candle with the intention of manifesting power, success, and guidance through your workings. The word royalty represents the energy and sacred goddess, the energy the sacred goddess provides for us as we work towards connecting to the divine. This is a deserving energy that brings us closer to spirit. Meditate on your internal compass, giving yourself permission to let go of stagnant emotions. Connect with this very personal and sacred moment. 
for these are the building blocks of pure creation and manifestation. The affirmation that comes with this is, the goddess resonates deep within my spirit, bringing me closer to pure realization and enlightenment. That's wonderful. And then we've got the lunar ritual incense sticks, or luna, not lunar. As you allow the smoke from the luna ritual incense sticks to waft or waft through your surroundings, allow its sacred energy to reassure your spirit. Know that this sacred time directly connects to the energy of the moon and all that she provides to us on our path. These smell so incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely going to be burning that here pretty soon. Um, the next thing that we have here is Lady of the Moon Pendant with Chain. Yeah, I absolutely love this. That is so incredible. So beautiful. This beautiful pewter Lady of the Moon Pendant carries with it the following inscription. May the Lady of the Moon guide your way. Take time to connect to the beautiful imagery of the moon goddess placed on the front of this pendant. Wear this pendant to bring the energy of the goddess with you on your daily journey and use for ritual purpose. And use for ritual purpose. And then this shell, it's a natural purple shell box. We are thrilled to be able to include a natural purple shell box within this collection, holding the energy of beauty Within its structure, this shell box is a wonderful addition to a beauty altar. Place stones, tinctures, or jewelry within this box to charge them with feminine energy and to instill prosperous and abundant intentions. I love that. So the... Oh. Okay, hopefully he's done barking. Sorry, we just had someone at the front door, I think. So... The next thing was the Lepidolite Tumbled Stone with Pouch. To aid in adding calming and serene energies to your surroundings, we have included a beautiful Lepidolite Tumbled Stone. Carry the stone with you or place on your altar to assist you in clearing and maintaining an enlightened awareness. Absolutely. And then we have the artwork. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor Passion Flower. Add this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows or place on your altar for display. And it is by A. E. Alden. It says we have curated this box with the intention of enhancing the magic that flows through your life. Allow the synchronicities and sign from, signs from your guides to manifest through the sacred objects placed within this collection. We send you love and light on your journey. Blessed be. Awesome. So this was the December 2019 box from Witch's Roots. Or it's from the Witch's Moon, but this is the Witch's Roots box. There are three boxes um, that come from the Witch's Moon. That is the Witch's Moon, uh, the Witch's Roots, and the Witch's Bounty. And this particular box is sent to me every month by the Witch's Moon Company, uh, for my honest review and you know as usual they just knocked it out of the park my my most favorite thing is the artwork I love that it is exclusive so you know and just gorgeous so I know that when I am creating this uh, grimoire that I'm going to be making this herbal grimoire it is just that much more special okay and look at the size of this oil this month. That That's bigger than any that I've seen thus far. That is just fabulous. And oh my gosh, the, the goddess. That is my first goddess necklace. That's the very first one that I've ever had. I'm definitely going to be wearing that. So um, now just to let you know, this is $29 shipped in the United States. You can also get it international. That is $38 shipped. And then if you get it uh, for Canada, it's $35. And I will be putting a link down below uh, to the Witch's Moon website. And, you know, I urge you really, if you are interested in even a few of these items every month, <laughs> namely, you know, the art, 
you can only get it through the subscription. So once you start putting all these things together with shipping, it's way more than $29. So you're better off, in my opinion, definitely getting the subscription box. And that really falls in line for all three of the boxes, really. Because sometimes they still do sell, if they haven't sold out of all of the um, items, they sell the, the items individually on their moon market. And even if you find some items that are not specially curated for that box, which most of them are, which I love that also. Um, but if you don't and you try to price them, in order to buy the items separately, it's way more money. So it's definitely a good value and they're curating from good sources, if not making it themselves. So I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing and I am sending you guys all love and light. Thank you so much.